Jessica Cartalia. This is your afternoon WJZ.com update. The investigation continues into a gun battle in broad daylight in East Baltimore. It started on Aiken Street in front of city police and ATF agents. Police chased after an SUV that fled the scene, which then ended up at Johns Hopkins Hospital. One person inside the SUV had a gunshot wound and was treated. Two others were arrested. Police are still looking for the other group involved. An unusual revelation in the Tyler Tessier case. He is the Montgomery County man charged with killing his girlfriend, popular Howard County teacher Laura Wallen. In court documents, Tessier says that he got into an argument with Wallen and she ran out of the house, hitting his head on a post. He thought she was dead and buried her in a field. He later says that he shot her to make sure she was dead and out of her misery. He goes on trial later this year. And today marks the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. WJZ will be at the MLK Memorial in Washington with live coverage of the somber event this afternoon. And now let's get an update on the weather with meteorologist Tim Williams. Tim. Well, Jess, we've already hit our high today, so a high of 69. Well, we're dropping now. Temperatures are now in the 50s as a front moving through that's responsible for some rain and some storms is blowing through. Winds are also kicking up through the afternoon. Wind advisory in effect through 7 p.m. 32 degrees. Tonight, mainly clear and brisk, and then for the next five days, a bit of a roller coaster. Some sunshine tomorrow, 51 degrees. Cloudy with 65 on Friday. Rain snow mix on Saturday could be accumulating in parts of the area, 38 degrees, and then 46 with sun and 44 on Monday with another chance of rain. Jess? Tim, thank you for the updated forecast and all of today's developing stories. Check in with WJZ this afternoon.